What's up guys, Kins Collector here with another haul video. In this video, I'm going to show you all the webkins I got in the month of April 2017. Disclaimer, all of the webkins you see in this video I bought with my own money. I am 17 years old and I have a job. Most of these webkins I got from eBay, most of them I got used. The first webkins I have to show you are Elsie, the little kin's mouse, Rishi, the rainbow pegasus, Rhiannon, the swirly curl unicorn, Albus, the schnauzer, Plessy, the reindeer, and Davis, the black bear. All of them are secondhand, none of them came with tags. I'm quite surprised at how much I like the rainbow unicorn. It looks, it always looked really quirky online, and like honestly, I don't feel like purple and red and blue really screams rainbow. Gans could have just like done that a little better, but honestly, like, I don't hate it. I like it more than I thought I would. I also really like the swirly curly unicorn, I just think it's really sweet looking. Next I have three Webkins Lions. I wrote their names on their tags, I forget which one's which. Their names are Ludwig, Lafayette, and Levy. I had originally believed I was buying a lot that had several of these other Webkins in it. There's only one lion in the picture. <laughs> What I didn't see was in the description on eBay was that it said there was three lions. I didn't notice that until I'd already bought it. And I already have one lion, so now I have four lions. So it's just a little lion party over here. Next, I have to show you Natasha, the patchy puppy, Jilly, the clover cat, and Silas, the black cat. If you watched last month's haul, you'll know that I already have a clover cat. I didn't, again, I didn't intend to get a clover cat. I bought like two large lots with some webkins that I really wanted in them, and they were really cheap, and they came with a bunch of other webkins, including another clover cat, three lions. Um, I really like the patchy puppy. I've seen that one all over Instagram. I think she's really cute. My one complaint about it is that you can tell that Gans didn't choose the highest quality fabric in the stripes because mine is used and I don't know if any if anyone else has a patchy puppy but the stripes on mine are actually like the fabric is starting to pill and I've not seen that on a webkins like ever before so I'm a little bit like Gans mm, not so happy but I mean I got mine used for like a dollar not too mad about that if I bought a new one I'm sure it would be in perfect condition is your patchy puppy pilling comment below yeah my clover cat she came kind of dirty so I've given her a bath my black cat you can't tell but he his, like, I have another black cat, but his fur is, like, kind of entirely matted together. You, you can't tell on video, but, like, in comparison to my other black cat, you can tell it, like, probably gone through the wash, I'm guessing, once, maybe twice. Sasha, the doodle for doodle. Olivia, the gray and white cat, and Mallory, the Littlekin's gray and white cat. I'm trying to collect the cats that have this sort of color and white body. I have the pink and white cat, the black and white cat, and the alley cat, and now I have the gray and white cat, and I just need the gold and white cat now, I believe. Separately, I also got the Littlekin's gray and white cat, and I just think those two are so cute together. I was not sure how much I was going to like Sasha when he came, but I actually think there's like something about him that I really like. Like. The overall color scheme I really like. Something about his crazy like just kind of draws me in. I also love the texture on his wings. Kind of like a like it's a very short fabric but I really like it. It just feels nice. Whether I like the regular or the Littlekin's gray and white cat I think I like the regular more just because I think I like the face proportions more. All of these ones are also from eBay. All of them are used. Narida the splash dragon. Bellamy the stormy dragon. Echo, the gecko, Landon, the panda, and Biff, the pig. I don't care so much for the panda or the pig. I love the gecko. I just love how floppy he is. Both of my dragons, they're both clearly used. I think uh, my splash dragon, the Rita, has a hole in her somewhere. She looks fine otherwise, and I think she's really cute. Splash dragons I've seen go for really high, and I think I lucked out because I found her for $3. Bellamy, like some of the glitter on him is clearly dull, but he's not very worn. He's kind of dull, and then Narita's a little floppy. These are the only two webkins that I didn't get on 
eBay. We have Tuscany, the bull mastiff puppy, and Umbria, the cheeky bunny. I actually bought them at a store near my vacation house that I didn't think would sell webkins. I actually saw a signature Portuguese water dog in the store, which surprised me, but it was like 25 bucks and I already have one, so I didn't buy it. I hadn't seen uh, the bull mastiff puppy before I saw it in stores. I actually think it's really cute. I like his, how he's kind of got that little like heart pattern on his chest. I don't think it's intentionally shaped like a heart, but I think it looks like a heart and I think it's kind of cute. Like I didn't plan on getting the cheeky bunny. Honestly, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Both of these did have codes. Um, I bought them brand new and I think if they didn't have codes then I don't think I would have gotten it. It was the only other one in the store that like I didn't already have. It looks kind of creepy and I think the face would just look better if it was more pronounced like the other cheeky pets rather than being sort of like sunken in. If you look at it like compared to like the other cheeky pet they have like very like sort of pronounced faces and then the cheeky bunny's face is just sort of like sunken inwards and then it just it just doesn't look as nice as the other cheeky pets. The last three webkins that I got this month, Tamika, the little kin's unicorn, Corinne, the peace puppy, and Elowin, the lamb. Now I had a I used to have a little kin lamb and I loved it so much and I wanted a regular one so badly and I don't have the little kin's one unfortunately anymore but now I have a regular one and I'm so happy I do. I think it's just as cute. I just I love it. I'm so glad that one's a little kin's too because the little kin's was adorable and I wish I had the little kin's again but you know. I already had a little kin's unicorn. I actually have a well my sister already had a little kin's unicorn which I now have and then she also had the regular unicorn so I do have both of those already but they're super beat up and dirty because my sister loved them to death and I used to have my own little kin's unicorn which was nice and clean and I was very proud of that but I don't have her anymore and then my sister used to have the peace puppy then that one I don't know where that one went I think my mother gave it away I was really lucky when I found um, the peace puppy because I had about given up hope that I would find one uh, with a tag for an affordable price I was extremely lucky I found my peace puppy Corinne with a tag for like five dollars <laughs> so I really lucked out not everyone is as lucky just just keep looking if you really want it and one day you will find it once again I am 17 years old I have a job all of these webkins I purchased with my own money thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe see you next time